Good evening and welcome to tonight's show from DJN TV, Disc Jockey News TV. Tonight's show is brought to you by Electra Voice, DJ Event Planner, DJ Trivia, Odyssey Innovative Designs and Cases, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, and the DJ and TV Insiders. DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. So for those of you watching live right now, the MJ and Dan are on the other screen. But I don't have the screen captured, and it's a total mess because we had to restart the computer. So, right now I'm going to join. I'm going to join you and tell you about tonight's show. Actually, I'm really not. I'm just going to buy time until they can come onto the screen, because Dan's been working on his 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 opening speech, which is going to happen in three, two, one. <laughs> Well, hello, everybody, and welcome out to your Monday night show. And uh, those of you who are there catching that little bit of um, delay that John just did, he's, he's very good at buying some time um, and, and letting us know in a proper countdown. It was it was awesome, John. Thank you. <laughs> uh, if you, if you're used time. to tuning in Monday night and 10 o'clock, obviously, you're used to seeing myself, you're used to seeing John. But um, the other guy with us is not just Shaney wearing a very – elaborate costume but rather mj has decided to join us for tonight because we have a great topic for you we're not going to be talking about five on it but rather a lot of great products that are coming out coming up this week nam is out happening out in california and um they got the lowdown and i'm really just kind of here to go ooh and ah about everything that comes out because um they know the stuff and i'm just gonna drool like you know, a fool but it's all good mj you know, you're going to drool and count your, you're going to look at your checkbook too. Because <laughs> we've all Don't been worry, that's already been there. <laughs> every time, I, I'm, I'm solid. Every time a company does a post, I'm thinking, how much do I have in my savings? <laughs> that looks really cool, Can man. I sell that kidney again? Yeah. <laughs> plasma, how much is plasma going for? Come on now. Oh, what do we want to start with, John? Oh, we've got a lot of things, but but uh, before we get jumping into the, the topics and such, for those of you who are not going to NAM, which is a lot of you, of course, um, we'll talk about what NAM is. But the way you're going to be able to find the videos that we're going to be dropping on Thursday during the day, we're going to be putting them out on Instagram. So that's Instagram.com/slash Distracting News. I'm going to be sending some things to MJ. MJ is going to be working on a few cool things, and he'll be dropping those as he gets a, a chance to drop those. We'll put a couple of things on YouTube uh, Thursday evening, but during the day, you're going to find those out on Instagram at Instagram.com slash News. Okay, I wanted to get that out before we forget. Um, and for those who don't know what NAM is, if you're, if you're new to our channel, because we talk NAM like almost as much as we talk about Megaseg, almost. Um, yes, gets it in there right away. Yeah, yeah. Didn't waste any time just making it. But anyway, now we knew we, were gonna, we knew it wasn't going to happen later in the show when we're talking about new products. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cha ching. Uh, National Association of Musical Merchants is basically anything musical is in this place. There are seven thousand plus different vendors there this year. That's what their number that they came back with on this one. It's a huge thing. It takes up the whole Anaheim Convention Center and ballrooms in the adjoining or the adjacent uh, hotels. Huge thing. Um, this year, I'm going to be down there with my two sons. We're going to have another uh, crew going to be with us, and we will not get through the whole thing in our time down there. It's just the way it is. But we'll get through the important stuff, which is the DJ and speaker and gears and lights and all that stuff. Okay. I think with that, I think tonight, MJ... There's a couple of, and maybe not so much tonight. You guys are going to hear about this more tomorrow and the next day and then on Thursday. This is the year, and I've said this the last couple of years, of the line array speakers. And I'm going to leave it there. 
All right, I want to preempt this. Uh, for those of you who aren't going, um, you also can download this. But those of you who are going, I highly recommend to download the NAM app. Uh, it is in either the Play Store or the Google Play Store. Uh, it looks, I'm going to show a few pictures and show how awesome it is because I really think they did a great job. Different events that are going on. Um, you can, uh, this is, they show scheduling of where different DJs are going to be at. The booth numbers helps you find them. There's maps like this that, trust me, when you get the app, you can zoom in a lot better than this and find what area the booth you're looking for is going to be in. It's a lot better than this. Trust me, it's, it's crystal clear on your phone. Um, and it gives you things like this when there are different stuff going on at different stages and areas. And uh, you can just kind of click on each one of the vendors too and find information about the individual vendors. So if you are going, it's a great uh, 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 tool to help you get around and find your way. Because like John said, it's freaking big. Uh, and for, if you're not going, it's still a cool thing to look at and see some of the stuff they have up there. So go get the app first. And that just gives you an idea of just how many, like in, in MJ's screenshot there, I mean, I know John said 7,000, but sometimes it's hard to put in perspective just how close they are together to be able to make it all work and fit. And Yeah. It looks like a cruise ship at first. You realize that? Okay. That's like, because you look at the whole thing and this is the dock and all the stuff, you know, because Yamaha, there's a big area over here, like John said in the other ones. Uh, the, for the different stuff going on there, but there's just, there's just ridiculous amounts of stuff, plus all the little extra stuff, you know, like over in the other total other room, uh, there's, you know, like you got your QSC and your Shores and Steinhausers and, and all that kind of stuff there. So there's a, there's a lot there. Um, John has the app. I have the app too. And Let's you can get it. Okay, it's free. And you can basically, what's kind of cool about it is you can actually go find people that are, that are registered. Like I'm on there. <clears throat> I have an edit to my profile. I look kind of, you know, a little, a little blank, but I'm there. All and right. So that's the first thing to start with. Um, what do you think, Dan? What, which, where, what direction do you want to take us tonight? Well, I, John kind of hit on it. And, and when, when I got a little preview, I, I do want to say that it did catch my eye um, with the, uh, I, I got to make sure our, our notes, because you had so many things I'm not allowed to talk about in here. There were Wait. some of those, yes. There's stuff we're not allowed to talk about? Yes, exactly. Please tell me ahead and mark them in the, no, in you, the sheet. It, we're all working off the same live sheet, so please mark that because I'm just going to start talking. Oh, no, no. We can, we can talk about everything here. here. I, I, if, if we yeah. can't talk about it, I didn't put it on there. Okay. Oh, because um, there was one you said it was tomorrow. and I would, Yeah, yeah. The, the ADJ stuff is uh, – ADJ is putting out a big press release tomorrow with their new, their new NAM things. Uh, let's just – MJ, let's, let's start right up at the top with what, what do you have uh, listed? Because unfortunately, it didn't, didn't occur to me until just a few minutes ago, MJ, that if you share screen share, the world can see it. If I screen share, only you two can see it. Because, well, listen, then I'm going to share. So yeah, let's so you, start you're going to you're going to have to do that uh, side, and I'm sorry about that. I didn't. I should have let you know. So we're starting off. Uh, PV is going to actually have a couple of new speakers uh, this year. The SP, the SP2 series. They're going to be. Um, there's supposed to be two different uh, cabinets that they're introducing. A high powered. Um, a I believe those are a a uh, plastic cabinet. I don't think they're a wood cabinet, but they're. Um, it's supposed to be a new addition with some improved harmonics and improved um, improved uh, uh, digital capacity. Right there. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of see right there with the advanced digital signal processing. They do look almost like a, uh, a wood cabinet, though. I know. That one does. That definitely. So maybe they, they, maybe they, they, they... If I'm correct, that's the, the wood cabinet with like the... Uh, uh, what's that stuff, John, they spray yeah, on truck beds? Yeah, truck. Yep, yep, yep. I know what you mean. The rhino... Sh yeah, it's, some, it's a tough thing like that. So but my, yeah, maybe, once maybe you get into are. that, that's for those of you who don't know. Once you get into stuff that has that's built like that, that's a whole different sound. Trust me. So yeah, I, I, if it's if that's a wood cabinet, and as as a a lot of this stuff for those of you wondering, some of this was sent to the sent to us today. Some was sent on set over the weekend. So we haven't had a whole ton of time to dig into and answer all the questions. But uh, there's going to be two new. Uh, they, they said there's going to be two new cabinets in that. But now from this picture that MJ just had. Uh, back there, it looks like four cabinets in that. So maybe they're talking two new series or two new uh, lines. But well, also it looks like some are side front. Yeah, but that one looks like a, you know you got a. Oh, there we go. Yeah, you got a dual eighteen. Yeah. Looks like a dual fifteen, probably a fifteen on the top, and then you have an eighteen, a single eighteen, or is that a single twenty-one? 
I don't know, but yeah, does, we'll be spending some time with the uh, with Get the crew. Get back on, MJ. I can zoom. You can. You're doing a nice a nice job. That's with it. Um, that looks to be the same as the one on the right. Okay. I think the cabinet itself looks maybe it looks appear to be bigger, but the well for itself, I mean, we're talking inches, maybe difference here, but it does look to be about the same. Okay. Yeah, and it, it could be that perspective that they photoshopped the three of them, three uh, towers together. So that'll be something new coming out from PV. Now that's one new thing. The second new thing we can't talk about is what I'm going to tell you about next. Actually, no, I can't tell you about it, but I will tell you that PV has got one more uh, speaker coming out. And it's supposed to be something that's going to catch a lot of eyes coming out. Um, and we'll be bringing you that. Uh, it's going to be one of the first things we go shoot Thursday morning to bring you that new uh, component from PV. So kind of... You know when they're releasing it? The well, info? it's supposed to be released... Uh, um, you, you guys can listen to this. It's supposed to be released Thursday morning, but I'm going to go get the footage and such for MJ Wednesday night. Because we have we have exhibit passes this year, which we've never had exhibit passes before, so that means I can get in anywhere exhibitor time, so I can go get that footage and get it to MJ. But you guys will hear her on Thursday, Thursday, uh, so one, cool. one, one way, shape, or form. Either MJ will have if he can put things together. Otherwise, we'll have your the Instagram stuff. So, so yeah, there, don't expect a surprise. Might be simple videos. I might not go too crazy on the videos, but you're going to have stuff. Yep, exactly. Yeah, we will get you guys information. So. That was our first one from from PV, and there, again, there will be a pleasant surprise for mobile DJs. I'm pretty kind of excited about that. Cool. Uh, the next one, um, just going down the list. Uh, this isn't anything for most DJs that's going to be too terribly exciting. But uh, Sennheiser, we've actually been using some of their their belt packs and their wireless devices for our shooting of video at, at shows. Now, we've uh, kind of upgraded the system. And they have, we've got now the, the main one that I use has a belt pack, like when I'm doing my uh, ice fishing shows, what have you. I've got the belt pack la lapel or the headset, and then it transmits to the cell phone, uh, the, to the little device. Sennheiser's come out with a new um, uh, mini body pack, which is a much smaller body pack, which is going to be probably really appealing to the theater or the wedding DJ who wants to wire up the bride. This is a much smaller one, but yet the range and such is still up there. So they've got the nice uh, rounded corners and nice, easier to tuck into something smaller. And it has the same the same uh, uh, distance and coverage and such. So that will be something we're going to see for the first time at NAM on Thursday from Sennheiser. So I'm kind of excited I, about I would, that. I would throw in also, I mean, you mentioned the bride, but I've noticed a big trend with the, a lot of our grooms lately is their ditching coats. Um you know, they've got vests, so you don't, you just don't have the height ability that you did before. Good point. Very good. So point. yeah, as soon as you saw smaller, I was like, ooh, yeah. Now, do we know? You said you said it's going to be is is it tied in with the G? Well, I guess what G four series now? It's the it? uh, it's it's I believe it's on the the step up series from that for now, and then okay. uh, and from my understanding is that it's going to be backwards compatible. But we'll okay. find out. We'll find out more because I've got the uh, the four series. That's what I'm using with my microphone. Is the variation of that with the uh, what we'll be using at a trade sh the trade show for, which is a sweet little sweet little system. I've been very very happy with that because I've used. I have uh, just on a tangent. I have five different microphone systems here that are wireless microphones that we can use with the cell the cell phone that are battery receiver battery transmit transmitter. I've got. Uh, Audio Technica version. I've got a Sennheiser version, and then I have a bunch of different Chinese versions that have been sent out for me to test. And the Chinese versions have been okay. The thing is, there's dropouts, and they're uh, they're unpredictable dropouts. I could be standing here doing a selfie, and all of a sudden it drops out. And then I could have it, you know, handed over to Dan 30 feet away, and it could be fine for an hour. It's just it's unpredictable. Um, Sennheiser has been bulletproof. The Audio Technica has been been bulletproof. It's just that I don't have the belt pack for the Audio Technica. I only have the handheld for that where I wanted to have. And I also wanted the ability to change microphones so I could have a a, 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 a hyper cardioid handheld microphone, and I could go to cardioid if I wanted to, or I could go to a uh, just a, a simple. So that's why I went that direction. Anyway, next, what do you got, MJ? 
Uh, we got Floyd Rose. I'm trying to find the, the other picture. I only found one picture with the Floyd Rose. Give me one, 10 seconds. Yeah, and I, I was just looking. I don't think I put the link up there. Floyd Rose is going to be having uh, – Floyd Rose uh, does some some of the kind of mid-level to higher-end um, headphones in the DJ industry. They're going to have two different uh, two different types of headphones that are going to come out here. They'll have the, the over-ear, like MJ is showing, and they're going to have some in-ear headphones that are going to be uh, available. There, there they are. Yeah, right there. That was easy. Yeah, so that, those will be um, going to be debuting at NAM. This will be the first time we can we can hear them and see them. Uh, what they're really trying to do with a lot of the Floyd, Floyd Rose headphones is they're trying to get that multi that multi uh, speaker uh, multi uh, point. So there's there's more than I don't how do they say that? Uh, there's more than one. Tra um, it's not transducer. Multi driver. Yes, multi-driver. We'll go with that. Uh, dual, dual driver, yeah, because you'd have a dual driver for, for you. this probably, yeah. Yeah, they're they're putting dual driver in most of their, and even even a lot of the companies that are setting out these little Bluetooth things are now trying to get into that dual driver uh, realm. So Floyd Rose is going to be doing that, and they were able to create that 3D effect with the headphones. Uh, they're really trying to focus on some noise canceling capabilities within that over over the ear. The microphones, yes, most of them being Bluetooth do have a microphone, but they're not the greatest. I mean, they can work in a pinch if you needed to use them as a, a hands-free device. But overall, they're just there for listening to music and having a, having a good experience with that. But that'll be it now. Yeah, if you've never experienced Bluetooth head, headphones, like because like, they're not for everybody, um, I, I pretty much all Bluetooth on everything I have now, and I love them. And I'm trying to get Pioneer to send me their new, because uh, we're going to be talking about Pioneer here in a bit, but they released uh, last late last fall the uh, X10 BT, because they have their line, and it's the X5, the X7, X10, which are their, their DJ headphones. The X10 are the really, really high-end ones, and the X5s are the ones that I use, and they made an X5 BT, and the BT means Bluetooth. It means the, it can be both used as a DJ headphone with a wire or used as Bluetooth just to listen to music or talk on the phone. So a lot of these companies, you're going to see this as the norm in the future. Don't think it's because a company adds Bluetooth to a headset that it's a cheap headset because it's or, or it's not a dj headset it's just the technology has advanced that far that's so easy for them just to throw it in a set of headphones here's a great sounding headphone and bluetooth so. yeah yeah for sure I, and that's one of the areas um, bluetooth we're going to see more bluetooth things at this year's show and i've talked about that a little bit on some of our past shows and, and we're going to hit some show bay show bay's brought a lot to the the part that we haven't seen so far in any of the early press releases is the bluetooth control moving head fixture but my, I have word that we will see that Thursday. Mm -hmm. but I that's can't. another thing that's growing, that, that just the controllability of that is, is for, for people who are still in the old uh, DMX button press era, you're, it's, I'm not saying you can't still go that direction, but you're going to see more and more and more where that hardware connection of that is going to be secondary thought compared to the wireless connection of controlling. It's not a bad thing, but that's just kind of expect that the way to go. Yep, for sure. That, but main reason, I'll tell you why, because they can get you to spend more money. <laughs> Here, <laughs> you have that that's wired, spend money and get the exact same thing that's wireless. Yeah. All right, so you have in there next a company that I know nothing about. Uh, JMoz Lighting uh, is a company that we actually ran across at NAM in the arena two years ago, maybe. And last year, I spent a little more time uh, in their booth, but they're a, kind of an up and up and upstart uh, lighting company that's doing a lot of direct importing uh, of Chinese fixtures and such. And what's interesting for this year, what they're going to be doing is this is battery. These are all battery powered lights that MJ has up on the screen. So yes, they have a battery powered. The uh, Aero system is a battery powered moving head fixture where you're going to be able to get eight hours of runtime on those fixtures with the uh, built-in lithium-ion batteries. What I thought was interesting when I was reading through some of the release, it wasn't because you always hear that you're always hear like the, oh, I'm going to get you, you know, 10 hours, but it's like single color, not really doing a whole lot. It was like full program, like full motion movement mm -hmm. and getting that kind of time. And that that's impressive. Oh, very much so. As when I mentioned this to Lori, she would, uh, my my wife, who's not into lighting very often, she's like, because she liked what we did with proms last year, except it was running a lot of wires. She goes, oh, that would have been so great for proms, is you could take take eight of those, dunk, 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 around the room, and we're set up. We're good to go, because it's got the Wi-Fi or the wireless uh, connectivity with the DMX, and it has the battery. 
So everything's right there and you're good to go. So that's that's actually kind of exciting. And of course, there's there's the um, typical uplights, which that technology hasn't isn't anything new or exciting. I mean, we've seen that before. Um, price point, they've got a really good price point on their lighting fixtures to begin with. So it's something to definitely uh, definitely check out. And for those of you wondering, I, one of the things I'm going to spend a little time with is we want I want to find out if those because we talk about this and in, in lights that are imported are they UL listed? Are they going to be something that's safe to use at a venue, especially after that uh, that that bridal show um, was it last week or the week before, where somebody's um, inexpensive lights that were imported direct import uh, burst into flames during a bridal show. Well, I didn't hear about that one. Yeah, there was uh, some great, uh, great pictures of, of people leaving the room while that row, because <laughs> it it was in a uh, totem, a uh, glow totem, and it uh, the light fixture literally exploded. So <laughs> that can happen. So you know, these are the kind of things, and I'm going to go and Jason and I'll talk about that, and you know, I want I want to make sure that if we're going to be, you know, you guys are looking at that stuff, that it's something that's going to be as safe as possible. We'll just go with that. So, but yeah, that'll be new at Nam. I was trying to Very look cool. at pictures of the other stuff that went <laughs> the fire pictures. <laughs> oh, I don't remember who who no, was. That's uh, fine, but it's, it's another show. Yeah, yeah, I don't remember who uh, was sharing that picture earlier today. There's uh, there, and then for the, some of those, some of you who follow me on some of the DJ idea sharing. Yes, I got roped into a couple of those things today. So we were trading paint with a couple of other a couple of folks. It was fun. Funny. Okay, where are we up to next? Double A. Ah, Avante. Yeah. Avante Audio. This is where I started to go like 20 minutes ago. This is this is what actually caught my eye when I was looking down through. Yeah. Av um, Avante um, is coming into the end. They came in a couple of years ago. Uh, one of the American DJ companies. Uh, step up from American Audio, quality-wise and such. They really wanted to come in and be that, that, that low to mid price point, giving you a mid to mid upper quality cabinet. This is the AS8. This is a uh, eight driver, little uh, little line uh, or little array system here. A, a simple little system, nothing too terribly fancy. You've got a nice little mixer and such, and you can utilize one, two, whatever. The drivers are, you know, eight drivers in one of those two those two pieces. But for someone who's wanting to have that little that little fill, it will. It, Probably the best way to, to say that that's kind of targeting is the people who want the Bose Compact. That's uh, going to be in that that type of um, for that type of purpose, and the price point is going to, going to be a fraction of what the Bose is because Avante really wanted to be pricing themselves as a mid level speaker, but just a little bit below the mid level price range. So Michael might be buying some speakers. <laughs> My Michael. <laughs> Hey. Yeah, oh yeah, you maybe you guys gonna say my Michael that's not big enough. He's he's a teenager, so he's like, oh yeah, bass boss needs to be bigger. <laughs> <laughs> if you've never heard a bass boss system being put to use, I, I try to explain this to people to the best of my ability. And this is no joke. Take the best system you've heard with like an 18 inch sub and quadruple it. Yeah. Yeah, it's incredible. There's literally in use, nothing I can compare it to that any company releases outside of a professional high-end club sound. You pay four times as much for four times the sound. You can go, because I've had guys, like I went to one uh, uh, two falls ago, and the guy's like, oh, I've got this system with, this, with my big 18s and this and that. And the guy said, bring them down. We have the hall down here. We'll put them beside them. And we put them beside them. And the guy's like, are you serious? I, I can't even, I need four more of these. Mm. There, it, it's that different. So if yeah. you can afford them, I mean, like literally, I can't explain to you the difference. Yeah. It, it, it is. Just, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's not even in the same thing. Not that I can afford them. Keep in mind that ever. The system I heard, keep in mind, the system I heard had two subs, two highs, and it was over $10,000 he had into to four speakers. Wow. I think it was like twelve or 13000 in four speakers. But the output on it is just also insane. I mean, it, it's... It's, it's insane. Crisp. Oh, it's crazy, Chris, but here's the thing. You are also limited venues with that. Yeah. 
you're not going to drop that at your local little smaller fire hall. <laughs> I believe the Avanti are wired. I'm just answering a question here. So, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I, if I need to go back to pictures on this, I think let me we're know. good. I think we're good. I just I just saw that there was a, a couple of questions from uh, Greg and Scott, and I apologize, guys, I wasn't watching. Um, yeah, I think I lost. It's, the, uh, yeah, everything's everything is uh, is AC powered. So that's where we we bring in Howie and Howie's battery backup powered system. They you know, whatever that was. Howie's got a uh, system. That class we, D amp. Uh, yeah, it's a it's a hundred and ten volt. I don't believe it was. Uh, you guys who are interested, I'll scroll very slowly down. You can see that real quick, or you can go to the Avante page. It's the avante.com forward slash as eight. And this is all their their setup on that. Yeah, there's, there's not much of battery life, so it's it's definitely yeah. They, yeah. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't see that uh, coming here. Oh, cool. Okay, I so, like that. I do like that. I'm yeah. not the biggest fan of those things, but I'm starting to. Gr they're growing on me. Now, as an example, when we get back for we have a school dance Saturday after we get back from Nam, and Michael wants to run the Evolve 50s. So, you know, they grow. They grow on people. Yeah, because I, I did a venue uh, ski resort that I do several times a month, and uh, they have DJs all day long at the ski resort. So it's like we're constantly switching in and out. And it was my turn. I did my thing. I had my – just because it wasn't a big room, I had my K-12s, and the next guy came in, put up his two Evolves, and I stood back and got to hear it in a room that was active, one that I had just heard mine in. Yep. And it was like, ah, that's why people like it. Hmm, that's cool. It's not yeah. crushing, but it's good, solid. Mm -hmm. That's that's nice to know, and quick to freaking set up. Yeah. Oh <laughs> yeah. Ching ching. There we go. Out the door we go. Right, so are we? Because we, John, we We're have. We have a no no. We have a link for this next thing. Are we skipping it? Because well, the, the American audio. These things are. We can talk about them because they've been released. So these are yeah. nothing nothing yeah. new. Um, and w let's just uh, let's just pick out. Uh, let's pick out the first and the third one in there. The my uh, DMX Go is basically just another dmx uh, programming and some people have been doing some good videos on that um mm, the the that. biggest one the, the the focus spot uh, z or 4z i is, have the 4z you want to look yeah, at that let's, let's pop that one up and then we'll look at the raise uh, razor so the 4z is just basically a very high powered moving head fixture uh, a lot of you have heard the story with um american dj buying yeah, um, eliminator lighting now, a lot of you are probably like I was and thought that Eliminator Lighting was under the American DJ banner. That was not completely true. They were like a sister company. Global Trust and American DJ were two different companies, and then Eliminator was actually under Global Trust, and American DJ has American DJ, Avante, Elation, American Audio. Um, so there's, there's that. So what ended up happening is that uh, American DJ has purchased from Global Trust eliminator lighting so now american dj lights are going to be like this z do they does it show some, there we go there the price of it they're going to be making the 500 to a thousand dollar lights in that and they'll still have some that are less expensive but they're going to really be focusing on creating that mid-level light elation will be the high-end light american dj adj excuse me will be that kind of the mid-level light and then eliminator will be that more of an entry level light the uh the Z4 is a, uh, or 4Z, excuse me, very, supposed to be a very bright fixture with a lot of capabilities. You're going to see some things with it from, um, from Infocom here. No, LDI, excuse me, LDI. LDI 2018, yeah. But yeah, some very, very nice optics. It's probably for mobile DJs, it's maybe out of your, the range of mobile DJs, not because of the price completely. I mean, $1,000 for light is a lot. I get that. But it's not a small light. And if you're working out of the back end of your, uh, you know, your, your little Subaru Outback, not going to be able to get eight of them in the back end of your car type of thing. But for the right application and for the right DJs, a great moving head fixture, bright light. Then, yeah, my, my DMX Go was another thing just released after the first of the year. There have been some releases. Let's go to the Razor, MJ, if you can pull that one up for us. You don't want to go to my DJ to go? Yeah, there's just not. I mean, it's very similar to the, we've talked about the Airstream DMX Bridge. It's a little bit different. Um, the app and such are different and there's a few and there's others who have just dug into that much more so it's not that exciting so the razor just a a nice a nice little little fixture but what the where it comes is that it has as you see in this the beam it can do some beaming things 
Did they have this. They had this at the expo in the fall. I don't think at the expo. I think they did. I think I thought they because it this has like that laser effect to it. Maybe yeah, they maybe, it wasn't released yet at that point. Okay. they didn't even have a price at that point. Ah, uh, so this might have been one of them that just came off the boat. And that's well, actually, it would come out of FedEx. The first ones come over via yeah, FedEx. The video. They're very. They're very nice looking. I, in my opinion, I think they're very nice looking, in what they do. Because it kind of gives you two layers of lighting in a room because you get lighting as a wash and then the little pin drops all over the place that photographers absolutely love. <laughs> he says sarcastically. <laughs> so it gives a little bit of both because you're getting a wash and you're getting beams also. So it's going to put that on the other wall. I can't get a better one here that shows the wash. They don't show the wash. Here's they're showing the different wash colors. But it, like I said, it does nice. It's it's that dual thing, but it, it can give you a little bit more. And yeah. they're pretty compact, too. And I, I need to see these live. I mean, you see all the different things it can do, but really need to see a, a, f a couple of them set up in the booth and be able to say, yeah, this looks cool. And as, they did have it. This is, yeah, this is from the expo. So they did have it. Yeah. No, yeah. The update. Now, yeah, sure. I now I see that, that to me, looking at it like that, that looks eh. It, yeah, you can't tell what it's doing just by that until it shines on something. But like I said, think of it as dual layer because that's what they're selling it as, dual layer. So it's dual layer as in uh, uh, wash and pinpoint all out of the same thing. Yeah, and, and again, when I see it, you know, as they had it at Expo, it was very forgettable because I saw that and it's like, yeah, I discounted it right away. But you have something like that that can shine on the floor or shine on a wall and you can utilize it. And if you can sync them up and have them do the same patterns and such, no. There's a different level of cool. Excellent. So yeah, there's going to be more things tomorrow. American DJ, ADJ, go out to their Facebook page. I'm guessing probably tomorrow morning by 8 a.m. Uh, Central Time, because generally I think Brian sends out those things like 5 a.m. their time, so it's like 7 a.m. so 8 a.m. Eastern. They're going to hit tomorrow, and that's when they're going to have all of their press uh, press stuff. And we will be bringing you guys uh, videos of a lot of that that uh, gear from the show. Nice. The easy link. We ready to move on? Bluetooth. They came out with more. Chica -chica. Quick and quick setup in these, and and you you guys have probably seen some of the videos where I've talked. I've had uh, some of the. Uh, actually, I think I have one of them right down here by the desk. So I was using it to uh, wash me with a weird color the other day. But the <laughs> the uh, Bluetooth Air app. Controlling those the different lights and such on the uh, slim pars, and they're going to have more more uh, fixtures coming out with that. Um, so let's see, they've got a uh, a Q4 and a Q6 because I thought they had a quad, a couple of quads in here, or excuse me, hexes. Um, they have the. I think that's a. I think that was a hex fixture. Like the easy uh, pair. Yep, yeah, that one, MJ. What one? The one. Oh, you the one. I keep forgetting. You can see what I'm clicking on. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> we're sharing. We're sharing a, a spreadsheet with all the different information on there. And what was MJ? MJ is the anonymous camel. And what was Dan? He was yeah, the... given a stupid no, name. I had nothing typed in there. That was all. He was anonymous camel. Anonymous giraffe. Yeah, you're a, you're anonymous giraffe. Anonymous giraffe. Anonymous camel. And I saw anonymous tiger earlier today. Oh. So I don't really know what all that means. Oh. But those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we're sorry for just jabbering. <laughs> So, no, we're not. But that was a hex fixture, isn't it? This was one. No, nope, that's a quad. No, it's only quad. It must be because of the uh, six. Uh, see, I thought I, I and again, I I'm, I apologize, gang, if you're watching. Uh, I I didn't. Uh, we didn't have a t chance to really dig into it. It's a quad with uh, six six uh, apertures. So that's so the bars the bars uh, and the strips. Those are all. With four, six, and then the uh, the next one to jump down to uh, MJ is uh, the easy bar. If you want to jump down, it's the second one from the bottom down there. Yep, up. Yeah, let's look at that one. They've got a, a new intimidator spot, the four seventy five that came out four seventy five Z, which those are phenomenal. Some of the some of the best moving head fixtures right now in the DJ market are the intimidator series the 350 series or the 375 series, whatever they are up to. 
Um, this one I thought was kind of interesting. We've seen their, their little pin spots. They have a four pack of the easy pins coming out. Dan, did you ever see, is there anything different beyond four instead of six? No, in fact, it, it wasn't until uh, within the last couple of days that I finally saw something that said, we're bringing these back. Like all the releases and stuff we kept seeing, it sounded like this was new. Like, And that's why I reached out to John wondering what's going on here. Is this a new product? And finally it's, no, we're bringing the we're bringing back a favorite. Is the kind of the way they worded it. But I think, as you said, the the case that it's in and, and that it's now down to four instead of six. If you're not wanting a the cost of six or b needing six, you know, you got you got a smaller option. Yeah. The the little bar I thought was kind of interesting from the standpoint that if you were going to be illuminating, say, the head table or something to that effect, and you needed to have a little bit more, that you could do some more pin spots sp spotting with that. Um, but and, was that magnetic or any, because I didn't see, I mean, the only thing I saw was an eyelet on the one end. I think that, that those little magnet, uh, those little scissor magnet, uh, magnetic pieces can no, be. No, I'm talking on, on this. Yeah. On right, the easy bar. I thought that you could, uh, you can mount, uh, with, with, uh, <coughs> there we go. Magnetic base. Okay. Oh Yeah. I didn't uh, didn't see. I, I just assumed because they had that little scissor thing down below, you had to attach that, and then that became magnetic. There you go. Yeah, I'm not. I wasn't seeing. Well, I wasn't seeing even the scissor bar with that one. I, I know that's. Yeah, it was. That, to be honest, with you, that's one of the nice selling points for the for the easy pin is because if you have a drop ceiling, click you're pin. attached to that pretty easily. Very quickly, yeah, nice and easy. Okay, so yeah, the Shobay's got a few uh, Bluetooth uh, lights, and no, the um, the Bluetooth moving head fixture is, I've not heard of it coming from Shobay. Granted, they will probably at some point in time have one once their app is more advanced, but it's coming from a, uh, a downstairs company from most likely is where their placement is, so we'll see if we can find it. Um, let's jump down to down to the next one, MJ, where you're going to be able to, you'll lead this one, because you'll know way more about this than... Than Dan and I do. What are you talking about? Is there, <laughs> is there something going on out there that yeah. I don't know about, John? Yeah, this is no. You know about it. We don't know as much. Yeah, we don't know as much. We just know that you know that that Thursday it uh, went up, went up, and you've had a couple, a few thousand views on that video since that uh, that went up. <laughs> I look. I think there was like four or five thousand views on that video. I'm trying to keep up with the comments and stuff. Denon released this, and. I, as someone asked me in one of my posts, are you going to get it? And I, I said, well, I'm kind of maybe yes, maybe no, maybe yes, maybe no. But we both know I'm probably going to end up getting it. <laughs> but here's the thing. I, before we go into this, I, I, I'll explain it, and then I'm going I'm to explain it, and then I'm going to explain my thought behind it, if right. that's okay. Yep. Oh, that's because what I was hoping you would, it's yeah. Not, it's, not, it's not for everybody. All right, so what it is, it's, a, it's starting out simple. It's a four-channel controller that you can hook up to your laptop to DJ with exactly like you would any other controller whatsoever. But it also has the ability to play from the controller without anything else. Now, keep in mind, that means including you don't have to stick your thumb drive in your computer, scan it with Engine Prime software and stick it in there. You can put any piece of music in there, any thumb drive, and, and, and play from it. What makes this unique is that it has an ability to put in the bottom of it a SS, uh, I'm sorry, uh, um, a DDI, uh, SATA. SATA drive. I'm trying to get which, which drive it is. A SATA drive. And if I'm correct, it'll take up to a terabyte SATA drive. Yep. But we're looking into see if it will take two terabytes. And, and so you're talking about being able to put a terabyte of possibly, if you want to spend the money, a uh, solid state drive in there and be able to take that and nothing else out and DJ wherever you want to go. Um, the touch screen is not only touch screen, but it's multi-touch and multi-gesture. Oh. So all of your effects can be controlled from there. So like if you have a wham effect, you mean like, you know, you can twist and move it and pull it and do everything with it. Where that lies into with hooking up a laptop, running a program, will that screen interface as your effects unit? Maybe not. I don't know. We don't know yet. But there's a lot with this. It, it just does a ridiculous amount of stuff. Um, I want to go here. Give me 10 seconds because i got to find where my picture is. Um, Denon, I want to do the overhead picture, which is here. And go here. And then I'm going to share here. Nope, I don't want to share that one. I want to share this one. 
There we go. Okay, so a couple of things that are cool about it is in the center of each one of those uh, 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 of your um, uh, uh, jog wheel. Jog wheel. Why am I blanking on this thing? It is an HD display that will display several different things, uh, like whether it be album art or information on the song, different things like that, it, it, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Uh, you have two built-in effects areas that you can assign. As you see at the top, each one of those channels can be assignable to each each channel if you want to. Uh, two mics. Uh, with uh, The number one mic has a high-low mid. Number two has a low-high uh, level adjustment with echoes uh, and, and uh, mic talk over. Um, here's over in the right corner. There are two USB and one SD card slots in the back. There's also two more USB hookups that the cool thing about this and these in the back hookups is not only can you put more drives in there if you want to, but you can also put a USB keyboard in there, whether it be a Bluetooth or non-Bluetooth, stick that in there and type the stuff you're doing on your screen. Because if you're running it as a unit by itself, you can type on the touchscreen to search for songs or hook up an extra keyboard and type from the keyboard searching for stuff. Cool. That was kind of cool to add that. And if you look at the second thumb drive, the second uh, a USB drive on the bottom of the back, it actually has a power mark. So that means it is powered out. So you could plug your phone into it or something else that re requires to run power off USB off this device without a computer attached to it. Wow. So, so that just takes that to another level that I think is a little bit crazy. Uh, let me get a few more things here. Um, like I said, obviously, 10-inch screens, the, the touch screen, it tilts and drops. And, and here's what it looks like from the side with it up. And it, it goes down. That's with it down from the back. On the back, you get your, you know, your mic hookups, all the different things, your booth, uh, you're out. Uh, there's, there's your USB with the power marking, uh, EIC plug, cable, USB uh, B for your computer, the link uh, uh, connection, the Ethernet link connection, which is for lighting and different things like that because it does a ridiculous amount of stuff that you can control lighting from several big-name lighting control stuff from Denon's thing to um, uh, 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 sound switch and two other lighting and effects controls you can do. But one of the cool things that I, I, I'm still trying to gather this in is this zone out, okay? So what zone out means is that you have a second hookup to it so that I can be playing music in this room, have that line, uh, XLRs, go to a whole nother room or to uh, wireless packs, right. two speakers in another room, and be broadcasting a total separate set of music to another room from the same unit at the exact same time you're DJing to this room. Wow. So, so now with this unit, you're controlling your... If you, if you have a computer hooked up to it, you're controlling your audio. You could be putting video out. You can have your lighting controls with that and have a second room doing something totally different. All from one unit. Wow. But here's the thing where I think separates it, and this is where I, this is where I kind of go in and out. It's it's not that big. It's a little bit bigger than the eight thousand that's currently out. If you have the, if you had or used the Denon eight thousand, it's just slightly bigger than it. It's not terribly bigger. It's three pounds heavier than it, and six pounds heavier than the seven thousand. But Pioneer also has a very large unit that runs on its own like this. It's not. I don't feel it's quite as elaborate as this is, but they've had it out for a couple of years now. It's priced, actually, I think a little bit above this. This is going to run uh, out of the box uh, uh, $1,700, $1,699. So it's $1,700 and the size of it. That's where I think it's freaking awesome, but because of the size and price, just like the one that Pioneer had, there's going to be so few people using it. Hmm. Like you've seen the like we've all had our hands on the SC five thousand at the expo. They're they're little CD units. They're mm -hmm. pretty crazy cool, right? But can you name me a human being you know personally that owns one of those? <laughs> no, I can't either. I, I would love to own them, um, but it's way priced. But this I think kind of hits a medium point to where if you want to dive into that world, you can. And I, I like it. I I want to get it because like I said, I get a new controller every two years, and this one. Uh, uh, to me, clicks a lot of boxes, including one that I didn't bring the picture over, but we're going to do this. One thing it clicks the box on me that makes me so freaking happy is that the <laughs> setup is like the, like a CDJ where instead of having one pitch fader on that side and the other pitch fader on the left, they're to the right. Your play buttons are in the same spot on both sides. It's like two units connected together. And for me, someone who's been DJing forever, I hate the fact that I have to read 
the left side of the left deck to do things because I've been doing it the other way so long. For a lot of people, it doesn't matter. But for me, this is more natural. I've, I've had the 7,000 for two years, and I still reach every single night I'm out for the wrong spot for things because for, for 28, I've been DJing 31 years, so I've had it for two years. So do the math, uh, uh, Dan. 36 years of non-DJing with it. Yeah, um, it, it's it's tough to get used to. So I'm happy to see that. But like I said, it does everything you could ever imagine. Um, the only thing it doesn't have, which somebody complained about, but I'll explain why you don't need it. It doesn't have dual sound cards. So, you know, like, but with the fact that it plays itself, you don't need a second computer. You have that as your backup. So you can have a terabyte of music there as your backup. So instead of having a second computer hooked to it, just in case something crashes, it is your backup. It is your computer. Mm -hmm. So that's coming out. I don't know if they'll have it hands-on at the expo. They might, yep. they might not. I yep, don't they know. Will. Yeah, they will. They will at the expo. Yeah, sure. Jay, uh, not uh, the expo, the, at NAM. I don't know. They yeah. even said that they're going to have it on hand for people to touch. Yeah, they will at NAM. And, of course, by oh, expo, because okay. it's supposed to be ready uh, March. Shipping in March. Right, March shipping in March. So we're still waiting on John to get me a price so that he can take my money. <laughs> See, it's, it's, I, I'm set up for it because, like I said, I know every two years I get a new one, and I have been saving up knowing that I was going to get a new one sometime this spring. Mm -hmm. So that's that. Then. And it was nice, um, of, nice of Denon to make something to take your money. Nice of Denon to take my money. Yeah. I saw this this meme the other day of a guy standing, and he was standing there. He's like, "No, here, here's some money. Go buy yourself the new Prime Four. No, here, take the money." And as the picture faded back, it was him talking into the mirror, telling himself, "Here's some money. Go, to, yeah, go spend that. it." Speaking of money, you you it's it's spending. Um, Pioneer <laughs> is making a new set of headphones for us. We talked before about the X5, the X7, and X10, okay? The X10s are really expensive. I believe they are um, $399, if I'm correct. Yeah, so that sounds sound about right. Yeah. About four, three or four hundred, let's say between three and four hundred dollars. It might be three fifty, I don't know. But they're releasing this limited edition of the X10s, the X10Cs, and they're a little different because they're carbon fiber and and build a little bit different, but it's almost identical to the X10s. Um, and because they're limited and they're only selling 1,000 of them, that's it, 1,000 pair, uh, they're going to cost you $600 per pair of headphones. Well, so Dan, you Dan know, will want two of them because he needs his backup. I need one for each year. It, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, let me know how that works out for you. I mean, and I'm gonna, I know we're getting close to out of time. I'm going to hit the last two super, super quick. Yep. Uh, for those of you who don't know, um, oops, that's supposed to go there. Techniques released a new turntable, the MK7. Um, it is almost identical in 100% of the ways to the previous ones, except for a, a few buttons changes, like in the uh, 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 BPM uh, uh, slider. Pitch fader, uh, you have a doubler that will let it double on, on your pitch just by pressing a, a button. Um, if you power and hit another button, I think it's a 33 RPM, it will put it in reverse mode. And the big thing about this that is the selling point is that if you've spent any time using Techniques turntables that are older, you will get the motor to wear a lot after a while, and it will speed up and slow down and speed up and slow down to the point where I was actually at a place last Friday and um, the, the even so, it's reading a Serato uh, 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 vinyl, so it's still reading it. And if you speed up or slow it down, it's going to change the speed of the song. That thing had it slow down and speed up on that motor so bad, it's blasting through the club, going and they're letting it play. So this version has an, a, not only a different motor, it's a cordless motor, so it's it's supposed to not get clogged as easily, and there's supposed to be some computer components in there, whether you want to call it a microchip, a microcomputer, whatever you want to call it, that also uh, 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 keeps that RPM as precise as you can ever imagine a physical motor to be. So that's the addition to that that I thought was kind of cool. And the last one is two that came out from Reloop. 
Um, one is they're putting out a new mixer that is basically in the lines of like the X9 or the the Techniques, uh, I mean not Techniques, the Rain uh, um, 72. So it's a digital mixer, still does all about the same stuff it does, has a little screen up there for your, <clears throat> your video effects and different things like that. Um, and lots of hookups on the back, dual USB hookups um, with keypads and all the different effects things. It's pretty much like any type of major uh, digital mixer of those brands uh, it has. But they also released two turn uh, a turntable with it that goes with that that also has a full set of multi-functioning uh, buttons on there so that even if you don't have their mixer, you can take this turntable with the buttons back here and do the same thing. So if you had an older turntable that doesn't have any digital stuff to it, now you're going to be able to have your cue points and effects and everything like that hmm. with it. So those are the two of those that are coming out um, reloop. The turntable will cost you $700 each, which I think is pretty good because it's real close to the Rain 12 price-wise. Um, half the price, <laughs> just about half the price of the Technique, but around the same price as the Rain 12. And that a mixer is going to cost you $1,300, which is substantially less than the tw well, a little bit less than the 12 and substantially less than the S9 by Pioneer. So... Are we allowed to talk about other stuff that's written below that, John? <sighs> yeah, everything that uh, Chris uh, Chris from uh, that those are things we could talk about if there was much there. Um, okay, the Rain Twelve. We're going to stay on the the turntables. I didn't know this. I knew that they were doing updates, and there are rumors because uh, I, I heard one of the Denon people. I want to I want to address this in two different ways. Uh, people were talking about the 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 Denon Prime Engine software, which that 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 S uh, the, the the Prime Four. Uh, kind of has built into it um someone in, in one of their posts the denim people said someone was complaining about the, the the prime engine software he's like wait we have stuff coming also so i don't know what that coming also means and here's where my brain kind of goes clicking if you remember back record box by pioneer was a music management software before it was a dj software so are they progressioning it across the prime engine music management software to then be a DJ software. Could Is easily that be. Emotion on that? Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means by keep an eye out for new. It could be just an update with fixes. We don't know. But speaking of fixes, the Rain 12 is a mixer, an incredible mixer if you've not seen it uh, at the Expo. Um, it's really great. And they're supposed to be doing a new, this is what we're told. Okay, keep in mind. New hardware design uh, uh, with the chassis uh, style and, and features that they're adding to it. So I don't know what that means yet. They haven't showed us. They haven't done anything, but they're supposed to be something new. Now, in my mind, it could be anything from a, a firmware update to something brand new. I don't know. But they're supposed to be doing something. And, and I hear things also that Pioneer is supposed to be coming out with something. We don't have any information on it whatsoever. Yeah. But everybody's saying, wait for Pioneer. And if you looked at, like I said, last year at the Expo, timing-wise of things, they're one of the companies that's due for the, for the next thing, just timing-wise. You know, NAM, NAM is a good time for them that they always release something new, and they're about that. So do you want to talk about the last one there, about uh, uh, the end music brand and stuff, John? Because you're going to know a little bit more about than I am. Yeah, probably the only one that, uh, you know, Kai's got their little controller will... We'll uh, let that. Oh, the Akai. I have a picture that you can talk about here. Ten seconds. Yeah. I know we're running really late here. Yeah, the um, Akai's got a, uh, and that's something that my boys who do more music, um, music production and such, and they want to have the different pads. Uh, that's that's something that they're more into. That is the uh, da -da 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 -da, the force. To the force. Here's the force, real quick. The force. You've seen these types of things before that you tap the buttons and it does stuff when you're making music. This is basically what you would have previously hooked up to a computer, this will run without a computer. So you're paying, I think it's 1400 for it. Yeah. I think correct? that was somewhere in that ballpark. Yeah. 14, 1500. Yeah. Um, find the little thing I had on it. I must've closed that out. No, there, oh, where is it? There it is. There it is. The Akai is running, uh, 1499. And it basically it's everything for making music and playing for those of you who are, are instruments, MIDI, MIDI instrument players, um, without a computer Everything that you would do with Ableton, you can do with this. No Ableton need to be attached to it. Everything is done on here. Nothing else. And they also have a small downloadable uh, uh, add-on, the IMPC, which is basically it's just a little MPC uh, app that works with your phone. 
And you can do the same sorts of things, but much smaller format. And that's $9 from the App Store. Hmm. But if you're into music making, that Akai uh, Pro Force is revolutionary because it's a standalone, just like the Denon's a standalone. This is a standalone where you don't need to have it hooked up to your computer. And that's the future that we're going towards, whether you like it or not. Uh, jumping to Denon, we, of course, talked about the big controller and word that they, they sent out. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to read uh, verbatim what was sent to us. Versatility of the mobile is an ex expectation, and we will be providing a singular solution that will address this, unlike the simple players in the market that the market currently has access to. I think what you're going to see from Denon is they're going to end, they're going to put out one end, and I think we're going to see something that uh, as Howie's got the four thousand. I think we're going to see something that's going to bounce into that realm from Denon, which Jimmy asked about Newmark, and I wonder if we're going to see that. Instead of a new mark, a new new mark board, they're going to put that in the Denon line for this particular show. Because I've not heard anything from Newmark whatsoever. They're another company that's way overdue for something new too. Yeah, would think so. Yeah, they because they Anna seven three was and then they had the uh, the six the NS6 six version too. That's new. Okay, that was I'm last sorry. year. Not wow. six two, but that was still that was maybe maybe last spring. I mean, and that really wasn't a a major change or major. You know, it was a slight improvement on the past. So. They might have something we have not heard anything from from Newmark, but Denon is uh, is going to be uh, giving giving us something. So, and we could be completely wrong. I mean, Denon might have speakers or something that they're going to bring back. I, we don't know. Um, but the only thing we know for sure is we're going to see the the big uh, prime unit uh, at the show. Yeah. And there's a lot of uh, little things that that have been circulating out there. Um, some smaller microphones. Uh, for those who are wondering about Electro Voice, Electro Voice is going to be bringing out uh, wireless microphones at NAM um, if everything works out, and I think everything is. So that's really going to be their focus on their current speaker lines and that. I don't think we're going to see anything new for speakers until later in the year uh, from Electro Voice. I haven't heard anything really from uh, from uh, QSC, which th that's not unusual. And RCF is uh, his doesn't sound like they're doing it too too, too much. Uh, Mackie's got a brand, uh, they're bringing out a brand new line of higher end speakers. Um, that'll be at NAM, which is for the people who are doing the bigger shows that could be of interest for the average DJ. Not so much because it's kind of that step up series. So, um, yeah, I think those are the big things that we have had sent to us so far that we've been talking about. So more to come Thursday morning. It's right going to start. It's going to start, and hopefully, I can grab a lot of that, some of that stuff on Wednesday night, so we have some time to <laughs> work on it before Thursday morning. Funny because those of you who know my lifestyle, I DJ really late at night a lot, so I tend to sleep in, and I wake up, you know, when it's still barely AM, and and have all these new products, and everybody and their brother releasing videos and all this stuff, and I'm like, oh man, I got to go to work. <laughs> <laughs> the day begins. Yeah, they had stuff for hours out, and I'm here sleeping. <laughs> But I hope you guys like this. I mean, there's so much to talk about. I know we didn't get to answer any questions. Uh, if you do have anything crazy important, I hope you guys answered it there. You know, I don't know who was watching the chat, if Dan was. Um, but, yeah. I don't know if there's going to be a new NS7. Um, who knows with that? I, I, I don't know where that's going to go. I can't imagine what the new NX7, the next, next version of an NS7 would look like. Yeah, especially when you've got it would the next one would almost compete directly with this uh, the new the new uh, Denon because they're they're an inch off of that with with the 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 version three that has the the dashboard. Yeah, yeah, it's just you've got a bigger screen. Let's, so. let's now that you get an add-on for the dashboard that lets them play alone, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> and dashboard and two, motorized spotters. That could be something. The dashboard two that lets you run off a thumb drive on the NS seven. No, yeah. see. I'm predicting, folks. <laughs> and uh, and there have been times when he, you predicted, and then all of a sudden at Expo, it's like there it is, there it is. It's it, people fight the technology, but you can't. It's going to keep coming, and it's going to keep coming more. And next thing I need you to need you to do is keep in mind that with Wi-Fi being in the lighting world, look for Wi-Fi in your DJ equipment soon. No, yeah, you'll see it across the board, especially as you get into. Uh, into more higher end uh, end connections and such that are out there in the different channels that they can utilize. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you can have Bluetooth headphones with your controller or mixer. Those are things to look forward to. Bluetooth and Wi-Fi in your DJ gear. 
All righty. Take us All out, right. Dan. <laughs> um, one thing I did want to wrap up, one thing, I mean, you, you introduced talking about NAM before, and I, and some of the things that came up in the chat room, we kind of developed a couple of things. I think some people are like, oh, I'm going next year. What? The one thing uh, that you've got to realize is this type of show is not, it's not like an expo. It's not like a, it's not like a mobile beat. It's not like any of these other ones where um, you can buy a ticket and you can get in. It's, it's not exactly like that. It's, it's geared towards the people who sell this gear, going to the shows, meeting with those, meeting with those companies and, and working out deals for their store. Um, and then people like John and, and his crew get a chance to go and, and check out the products because they talk about them and, and help spread the word on them. So this is not um, not one of those shows where you can just go, oh, I'm going to go. Now, if you're Stevie Wonder, who seems to be able to always go every year, that's different. But you're not Stevie, so you don't get to go. Um, I got that's to go one awesome. year. Yeah. I got to go one year. I want to I want to trip out. Um and I was, I walked in and, and I got so overwhelmed that I did not spend as much time at the show as I wanted to. Um, but it is, it is pretty awesome just to see. And again, you're not walking out buying gear. I mean, this is not, not again, not one of those things you go in, you learn about it. Um, and there is a joke. There's a joke. Um, Nam not doesn't stand for what John did, but not available till mid May. So that's not always the case, mind you, but some of the products you see are not, ready yeah. for stores yeah. a week later plus a large uh, keep in mind a large bit of the stuff there we talk about it like it's a dj expo but it's not it's every kind of musical anything you could ever imagine like literally studio it can come from the studio end to the to the stage end everything guitars instruments piano everything definitely so it is pretty cool to check out and definitely want to make sure you're paying attention Thursday morning. And as John said, Instagram.com forward slash this jockey news is where you want to make sure you're up to date on all those videos and all those extra little pieces as well. Thank you very much for tuning in again. Be aware of that stuff later this week. We'll be back next week. Um, Shani should be with us again and we will have five topics. And if not, we'll make MJ put on a wig and he will join us as well. <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. Have a good night. Not everybody.